السلام علیکم اسٹوڈینٹس ویلکم ٹو یور سوشل اسٹڈیز کلاس اینڈ اسٹوڈینٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ سم تھنگ اینڈ آئی ایم ناٹ گوئنگ ٹو ٹیل یو واٹ از اٹ یو ہیو ٹو میک اے گیس اباؤٹ اٹ اینڈ فار دیٹ وی ہیو اے ریڈر اینڈ دا ریڈر از وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ سم تھنگ دیٹ چینجز آفٹر اے فیو منتھس sometimes hot sometimes cold and there are four can you tell me what is it children think 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 what is it yes children you are right we are going to talk about seasons and that is part of our lesson number 14 weather Before starting cutting our today's topic here lies a question that what is a season A season is a part of a year which is divided according to the weather condition So students you already have learned about weather and today we are going to talk about season so let's see what is the difference between weather and season Weather is the day-to-day conditions of heat and cold, dryness or rain in any place. Means that weather keeps changing from day to day and sometimes from hour to hour. But when a weather remains the same for a long period, we call it season. We have some months when it is very hot, some months when it rains heavily and some months when it's cold and chilly. And do you know students students how many seasons do we have in a year? Yes, you're right. We have four seasons in a year. And the seasons are spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Now children Let's have a look at these seasons one by one. Now the first one is No no I'm not going to tell you that. You have to make a guess about it. So let's have a look at the riddle. Flowers grow. Trees are green. You see butterflies and bees on the green leaves. What season am I? Yes children you are right we are talking about spring season dear children do you know when does this season start yes it starts after winter and before summer do you know what is the weather like in spring season it is a beautiful time of the year when flowers bloom and new leaves appear on plants and the weather is mostly cool and pleasant so dear children the second season in line is no again we have a riddle for that and the riddle is my days are long the sun shines brightly i am hot and humid can you tell what season am i Yes my dear students since you are right we are going to talk about summer season Now students let's have a look at this season in detail Do you know when does this season start Yes it starts right after spring Do you know students what is the weather like in summer season Yes It is the hottest time of the year. And due to this hot weather, some places get very hot and dry. And in some places, rain cools down the temperature. So now children, let's have a look at which fruit comes in summer. Yes, you're right. 
the king of fruits that is this mango and i love to eat mangoes do you also like to eat it and students other fruits that come in summer are peach watermelon and plum now let's see children what kind of clothes do we wear in summer we wear thin clothes made of cotton because we sweat a lot in this season and cotton helps to absorb sweat and helps us to maintain the temperature of our body and in summer we also enjoy outdoor sports and those who live near the sea they go to the beaches to enjoy their evenings Now comes the third season of the year and the riddle for this season is old leaves fall from trees they turn from green to brown or yellow can you tell me which season is this yes you're right my dear students it's autumn season Now students let's have a look at this season in detail Do you know when does this season come It comes between summer and winter And let's see what's the weather like in this season The weather begins to get cool and windy And in this season leaves change color and fall from the trees and in autumn season some crops and fruits such as apples and pears ripen too and now comes the last season of the year and the riddle for this season is i am very cold snowflakes fall and flowers don't grow can you tell what season am i yes you are right my dear students i am winter season now let's look at this season in detail do you know when does this season start yes it starts right after autumn season And let's see what is the weather weather like in this season. It is the coldest time of the year and the wind is cold and the weather is chilly. And its days are short and nights are long. The best part about winter which I like is that mountains get covered by snow. So dear students have you ever seen snow falling or played in the snow and built a snowman I really want to because I have never seen snow falling or played in the snow and built a snowman And do you know what kind of clothes do we wear in winter Yes we wear woolen clothes and why do we wear these clothes because the weather is very cold and these woolen clothes keep keep us warm and helps us to maintain our body temperature in winter we also enjoy indoor games like ludo and other board games in winter season we also eat dry fruits like peanuts almonds cashew nuts walnuts and why do we eat these dry fruits because they also helps us to keep our body warm so most people suggest others to eat dry fruits during winter so children you already have watched the video on weather and now we are done with the seasons as well after going through both the videos you must have learned the difference between the two and now you must be ready to give answers to the questions 
and you have to do these question answers in your notebooks so here lies our first question students and that is have you ever seen a rainbow what are the colors in a rainbow find out firstly we are going to do the first part that says have you ever seen a rainbow students do you know when do we see the rainbow okay let me tell you we see a rainbow when sun comes out during a rain shower and if you have ever seen a rainbow you can write its answer like this yes i have seen a rainbow or if you haven't seen you can write it like this no i have not seen a rainbow now let's go to the next part of the question and that says what are the colors in a rainbow find out and do you know what is a rainbow yes you're right it's a multicolored curve line which we can see in the sky and here is the rainbow that you can see on your screen so how many colors are there in a rainbow a rainbow has seven colors that is red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet so here comes our second question and it says have you heard thunder and seen lightning what did you feel now this question also has two parts firstly we are going to do the first part so remember when do we hear thunder or see lightning let me tell you what is thunder first and thunder is a loud noise heard after lightning and lightning can be seen during a thunderstorm so if you have heard thunder and seen lightning you can write its answer like this yes i have heard thunder and seen lightning or if you have not heard thunder and seen lightning you can write it like this no i have not heard thunder and seen lightning now comes to the second part of this question and it says what did you feel now you have to tell me what did you feel when you heard thunder and seen lightning you can tell i felt scared when i heard thunder because it's a loud noise and people get get scared of it and or you can tell about lightning i got frightened when i saw lightning on the sky so here lies our third question and that is what season is it now so students you have gone through the video of seasons and now you know everything about all the seasons so you can answer this question by looking at the present condition of your city's weather and you have to do it yourself and you can also get help from book page number 67 Now comes our fourth question and that is does snow fall where you live do you know what is a snow fall yes the snow that falls from the sky during winter and this question can also be answered by looking at the weather conditions of your city now students we have to do the exercises that needs to be done on your books and the first exercise that we have to do is work page a and that is on page number 69 of your social studies books and the question is how many differences can you find between the two pictures now here you have two pictures and you have to find the differences between these two let's see how many differences can you find between these these two pictures and students here we have the solution of work page a we have found three differences between the two pictures now let's have a look at them in the first picture you can see that the tree has leaves on it the water is flowing freely and there is no snow on the mountains and in the second picture you can see leaves have fallen down the water has turned to ice and there is snow on the mountains now you can tell you your answers with this solution so here students we have another exercise and that is 
work page C that is on page number 70 of your social studies books and in this exercise you have to answer the following questions and here you have your first question and that is what kind of clothes do you wear in summer do you remember about the summer season students yes it's the hottest time of the year and we sweat a lot in this season so we wear thin clothes made of cotton and it helps to absorb the sweat and it also helps to maintain our body temperature so you can write the answer like this i wear cotton clothes in summer and the second question for you is what kind of clothes do you wear in winter and students as you know it's the coldest time of the year and you have to wear layers of clothes over you to keep yourself warm so the answer could be i wear warm and woolen clothes in winter and the third question for you is write four lines about how you spend your summer holidays and in this question you have to tell me about your summer holidays you can write about the games you played the fruits that you enjoyed or the place you have visited during your holidays and you have to write this question in your own words so students for the work that you have to do it on your books, remember that you have to prepare the page properly. You have to mention date and day. You have to draw the margin lines and do not forget to leave one finger space between words. So that's it for today. I hope it was easy for you to understand about seasons. Thank you.